painted. Gerald Gilbert, your city manager, back for another installment of freestyling. You know, I'm starting to have to count pretty high here. I think I'm up to number four, so I don't have to take my shoes and socks off yet, which you wouldn't want to see anyway. Just number four. I'm going to try to keep it briefer today because I understand I'm probably talking a little too much and I'm losing some of you. So I'm going to keep it to five or six minutes today, but I have a few important things to just share with you, things and thoughts that I've had. And, and one of them is uh, I, I mentioned earlier on Monday, I think, that uh, as we uh, work with each other here at City Hall, as employees and as we work with you, we're building a team. And teamwork is very important for us, not just as city employees, but working with the public, working with the businesses, working with the engineers, working with the architects, working with the developers and the builders and the doers. And so I was just going to speak a moment uh, about teamwork because as we talk about teamwork, we want to all be good teammates. And so I had a few thoughts on, well, what makes a good teammate? Well, one of them is um, a, a teammate that uh, is on board, understands the plan, understands what we're trying to do, and is very supportive, understands what their role is, and works within their role, but is always willing to help. And so that's just kind of a quick summary of what I think. And I'd mentioned that I'd been to war with Alan Elder. So I thought I'd just follow up briefly on that story. Alan Elder and I served a long time in the Army National Guard as part-time soldiers. While we worked for the city of Enid, and for me, for other places as well. And so I remember when I think about what makes a good teammate too, when I was in the same unit as Alan, I appreciated that he took care of all of his business. He was a great leader and he got things done and I noticed that. And so when you work together in, in, in challenging and difficult situations, uh, rewarding situations, much like this one at the city as we try to improve our infrastructure and improve our customer service and make lives better for everybody that lives here, you know, you, you kind of come to find the people that uh, I guess may be better teammates than others. And Alan Elder is top notch. So he is currently our animal welfare manager and it's a pleasure to serve with him. He deals with the public, he deals with the problem of quite frankly, irresponsible pet owners um, all the time. So Alan, I appreciate everything you've done. I enjoyed our time uh, training up for our Iraq mission back in 08, 09. And um, I enjoyed uh, spending some time with you in Kuwait. So moving on to the next topic, budgets. It's budget season at the city of Enid. We've just gone through what seemed like many, many, many hours of uh, budget talks with the city commission. We feel pretty good about where we're at. We're very excited that in the draft budget we have a 20 plus million dollar capital projects plan that addresses infrastructure of all kinds, streets, water lines, um, uh, sewer lines, uh, stormwater issues. All those things are addressed and streets in particular I'm very pleased with because as we talked about last night our budget is 9.1 million dollars for the new year. Which again, in the whole scheme of things with streets, doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's significantly more than we've spent in a long, 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 long time. So very excited about that, and you're gonna hear more about that as we move forward, as the city really works on improving our infrastructure here in town, which benefits all of us, promotes economic development, is quality of life, streets are quality of life. And uh, so anyway, um, more to come on that Tuesday. We anticipate uh, asking for approval on the budget. So if you have any comments or thoughts, feel free to share them with me or the City Commission. Um, you can get their information off of the website and they would love to hear your feedback. Let's see, a um, little update on my book. I haven't made much progress, sorry to say, on reading the book Tiny Habits. I think I mentioned it last time in my freestyling uh, or the one that you're getting ready to see from last week. But I do know my wife has got that book already ordered. Thank you, Denise. I have no excuses. I have it sitting on my table, and now I just have to get it read. So I look forward to doing that. But as I thought about that, I thought, well, you know, we went out and bought the book. And I thought, you know, I didn't even have to buy the book. I probably should have just gone down to our own public library of Enid and Garfield County, and I bet they have the book. And I could have checked it out. I think they give you two or three weeks to read it. That's a reasonable time. And then when I'm done, I could have taken it back instead of having it fill up 
my bookshelves and, and, and lay around. So I'll probably do that on the next on the next book, which there's always plenty. I don't read enough, and my guess is you may not read enough either. So I'm going to try to read through this, and I'm sure I'll learn things that will make me a better city manager and a better person. So I look forward to sharing some of those in the future with you. I, I wanted to uh, recognize Marcy Jarrett, who's done a wonderful job as the Visit Enid director for 11 or 12 years, done everything asked of her, and she has taken a position at Midwest City as the executive director of the Midwest City Chamber. So she'll be leaving us uh, by the end of the month or so. Uh, we'll miss her. We're going to recognize her Tuesday, May 18th at the council meeting. It'll be well-deserved recognition. And uh, you might send her a note or thank her for her contributions while she's been here in Enid for a large part of her life, 12 years. I think that's about it that's on my mind. I've got a, a lunch date to keep. I am going to go see the Oracle. In this case, there's several people I look to for wisdom and guidance, including former commissioners, uh, people that I respect, business people in the community. And today, I'm going to have lunch with our very own former city manager, Mr. Eric Benson. So I look forward to that. I'm going to go to one of our favorite restaurants, Land Run. So I look forward to that. I may see you there. And I know I'll see you in a future installment. And I look forward to visiting and communicating these um, freestyle thoughts that I have from time to time. So thank you very much. And I'll see you around Enid. <laughs>